Welcome to Santi Peace for Mathematics. In this video, we are going to discuss a graphical method to solve an equation. So any equation f of x is equal to 0, whether it is an algebraic equation or a transcendental equation, there are various techniques is available in the literature, especially in a numerical analysis to solve or to get a solution of such equations. Here we are talking one of the methods is to discuss that, that is known as a graphical method. So before going to explain this method, I have to remind one of the very important concept which is known as intermediate value theorem. So if you have given any function y is equal to f of x in which there is one point of this function let's say a f of a a graph of that function it's into the upper half plane and there is one point which is b f of b which is in lower half plane then and if the function is continuous and if the function is continuous then they always touch the x-axis is always intersecting the x-axis and that is your root of the polynomial or the root of the equation if it is algebraic equation or it is a transcendental equation. So this is known as intermediate values theorem that is in between the root in between the point a and b the root is possible. So how we achieve that if this f of a and f of b is of opposite sign that means f of a into f of b is of negative or i can say both of them are in opposite sign then there is always a root is lies in between the interval a b this is known as intermediate value theorem and we will use this concept to solve or to obtain the root of any equation f of x is equal to 0 via graphical method. So let us see what are the steps to obtain the roots of such equation. So let the equation f of x equal to 0 is given. Find an interval a b which roots of f of x is lies in. That means as I told you that f of a and you have to find out two points a and b such that f of a and f of b are of opposite sign. Ultimately you have to find out the points a b where the product of this two is negative. So in between this interval a b, the one root is lies, one real root will be lies inside that. Once we get that point of a b, then you can separate out this f of x equal to 0 into the two function phi of x and xi of x. Where this xi of x contains only terms of x and constants, whatever the constant is contains in xi and other points or other things you can so we can separate the function into two functions and then we'll draw the graph of the two graph two graphs that is y is equal to xi of x and y equal to xi of x phi of x and xi of x and whatever the intersection point that means whatever the intersecting uh, points of these two graphs y equal to phi and xi they are known as the intersection of these two points is is the root of this equation y equal to f of x. So this is the method that is known as a graphical method. In case of if the function f of x is equal to 0 will not will not be possible to write down in the form of uh, xi of x and phi of x equal to phi of x. In such case we just plot the graph of y equal to f of x and whenever the cut, whenever the, this graph is touch the x-axis that point, the whatever the point of intersection with x-axis and the graph that is your solution or I can say root of the given equation. So let us discuss one first example. So let us, question is find the uh, root of equation 3 minus x e power x minus 1 
So here the function is e power x minus 1 plus x minus 3. So the first step according to the graphical method you have to find out two points such that at that two point product of the function that means you have to find out a b point such that f of a into f of b is of opposite sign. So what is f of 0 let us check that f of 0 is e power minus 1 plus 0 minus 3 so I can say this is negative e the value of e is 2.7 something it's approximately 2.7 and 1 upon that is very less a quantity minus 3 which is bigger than that quantity so that's why it is negative f of 1 that you can obtain by taking 1 x is equal to 1 so it is e power 0 plus 1 minus 3 which gives you minus 1 which is again negative f of 2 that you have e power 2 minus 1 so it is e plus 2 minus 1 sorry minus 3 which will gives you e minus 1 e is as I told you it is 2.7 minus 1 so it is positive so from this what we can achieve f of 1 is negative f of 2 is positive so your root is lies between 1 and 2 now we have to separate this function into two functions phi and xi so let us separate that function so phi of x i may call it as e power x minus 1 and xi of x is 3 minus x as we have given this is as an equation so we can have this is phi and xi now we have to plot both this graph of this function so for that i am using this graph paper so whenever you plot the this using the graphical met method always use the graph paper to plot a graph of the function so for that we have the function x and the y is equal to e power x minus 1 is the function and we know that the root is lies between 1 and 2 so the first point i am taking 1.1 1 .1, which gives you value using the calculator you can calculate that it is 1.11 approximately the second point is 1.2 which will gives you 1.22 the third point is 1.3 which gives you 1.35 1.4 will gives you 4. 1.49 1.5 1.6 which have 6.1.65 and so on this is your x axis and this will be your y axis now we will plot this graph y to e power x minus 1 if i can say this is 1 1 this is the 1 1 point if i consider and this is 1.1 this will be 1.2 this is 1.3 1.4 and on the y-axis so we have considered the x-axis and y-axis and we have scaled them as on x-axis in this way and on y-axis in this way now we'll plot these points. The first point is 1.1 will give you 1.11. So that is 1.1 point will give you 1.11, which will be here somewhere. The second point is 1.2, which will give you 1.22. So that is here. 1.3 will give you 1.35. So that is probably here. 1.4 will give you 1.5 that is here 1.5 will give you 1.65 so that point is here 1.6 will give you 1.82 that point will be here 1.7 will give you 2.01 1.6 will give you 1.82 and you can plot the graph of this function so the graph of this function is look like this go further and other things we have to plot the line so this is the graph y is equal to e power x another one is a line y equal to 3 minus x so for that this is a line so i just need to have a two points that is sufficient to plot this one if you have your x is 2 and y will be 1 your y is 2 y is 2 x is 1 i will plot this to one point to one point is here this is your 
sorry this is the point this is the point it is the point 1 2 and to one point it's uh, this is the quantity 1.8 and 1 to one point is beyond that so that is if you can draw a line by joining top then you can observe that this is a graph of y equal to e power x minus 1 and this is the graph y equal to 3 minus x they are intersecting at this point and you can just observe that this intersection point is having the quantity that is on x axis it is x axis yeah, that is x coordinate of this point it's approximately 1.44 which is the root of this equation let's solve one more example the question is obtain the root of x is equal to sin x plus pi by 2 so here we have to plot the graph of sin x x is equal to sin x plus pi by 2 so we have to consider what is your function is so let us consider your function will be sin x minus x plus pi by 2 now we have to find out the two points under which the f of a and f of b has an opposite sign so let us consider what is f of 0 f of 0 will give you sin 0 will 0 this is also 0 and the answer of this one is pi by 2 and the next point I am considering as pi because it is a sign function so it is better to deal with this pi 2 pi pi by 2 and all sort of things and that will give you sin pi is 0 minus pi plus pi by 2 so this is gives you minus pi by 2 which is negative this will be positive so you can say that the root is lies between 0 and pi so the root is lies in this two interval and so in this two in between these two points now we have to plot or we have to separate this function into two parts so i am just separating as i am defining the two function y is equal to let's say pi of x as sin x that is this and the another function y equal to xi of x as x minus pi by 2 that is another function so we have to plot now the graph of two things that is one of them is a sin x another one is x minus pi by 2 one of them is y to plot this one let us consider the value of x and the graph y equal to sin x you may take it as a using the calculator you may consider as a radial factor radian and find out the values but it is better to work with the, the radian quantities itself that is if x is 0 sin is 0 then you have the interval is 0 to pi so it is better to divide into either 5 interval 5 equal parts or 10 equal parts it is work it is depends on you how you will work on if you get more partition into this interval you will have a more accurate figure and so you will have more accurate answer to your approximation so i'm just dividing that is by pi by 4 then we know that sin pi by 4 will be 1 by root 2 and the 1 by root 2 will be 0.71 by calculator you can have that value then the next is pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1 then 3 pi by 4 the 3 pi by 4 will give you 0.71 and the next one is a pi so it is 0 so we have actually divide into the 5 intervals and now we will plot this into the graph paper so this point I am considering as 0 0 0 point so that is the first point of this 0 0 the second point so I am just that also I'm dividing this is my pi by 4 this will be pi by 2 this is 3 pi by 4 and this is pi and on the y-axis I'm just considering this is as this one is as 1 so this is 0.5 this will be 0.75 the first point is 0 0.71 so it is pi by 4 will give you 0.71 so that is somewhere here 
pi by 2 will gives you the value 1 3 pi by 4 again is having the 0 0.71 and pi will gives you 0 and if you can join this all the points then we know the graph of sine is look like this another line which we have here it is x minus pi by 2 so we have x coordinate and y coordinate y is x minus pi by 2 if i consider x is 0 then y will be minus pi by 2 and if i consider y 0 x will be pi by 2 so the pi by 2 point we have here is pi by 2 comma 0 that point is here now 0 comma minus pi by 2 now pi is 3.14 divided by 2 that will give you 1.57 something and so 1.57 if i consider the 4 square from this side it is 1 and so this will be your 2 so 1.57 is somewhere here this is your somewhere this is the point 0 comma minus pi by 2 and we have to join these two points via line so that will intersect this curve so this is your intersection point you will have so this intersection point if you can see the, this on the x-axis that it is slightly near to 3 pi by 4 and you can just see that 3 pi by 4 if you can convert into the number it is approximately 2.35 so i can say that the root of this equation that is x is equal to sine x plus pi by 2 is approximately 2.35 that is the approximation we got from this it is x is equal to 3 point, 2 .3. that's it for this video if you like this video please press the like button if you have any comments suggestion or a question please drop down in a comment box below see you in next video till then bye bye sign